All righty. Mm -hmm. so welcome. Welcome. We are live with CSI, Creative Source of Inspiration. And today we have the most beautiful, loving guest that I am so honored to have with us is Lydia Ramirez who has these amazing retreats in this gorgeous spiritual land right at, on a private beach in Mexico. And she also has created a nonprofit organization for foster children because she's a foster mom. So with that, Hello, Lydia, and thank you for being here and stepping right in when our last gal got sick at the last moment. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello, Karina. It's great to be with you and all your audience. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here today. And thank you, Karina, for um, asking me to come on. Oh, always. You are such a light. <laughs> that I love to be able to share you with the world. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, so since this is a show about mm -hmm. becoming inspired and what inspiration is, my question to you is, what is inspiration to Lydia? Well, well my nationality, I am Texan and Mexican, right? And I speak Spanish and for, Inspiración in Spanish is to breathe, to inhale the love and exhale whatever you want to exhale. But it's to breathe, to inspire. And then it comes from the sire, right? From universe, from the alignment of the universe. So it's all, all encompassing. That's what it means to me is just to inspire, to, to be inspired and to be and to inspire others, other women. Wonderful. And yes, yeah. absolutely. That alignment that we have with spirit when we actually do breathe with mindful intention of connection, because we are the bigger spiritual beings. We just happen to be in a earth suit right now right. in this dimension yeah. with a purpose, whatever that may be. Um, so I know you have so many beautiful, inspiring stories, but something that had recently crossed my path is this amazing couples retreat now. Now, you've had empowering retreats for women, for entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. but now it's also going to expand into couples. Do you want to share a little bit where that inspiration came from? Yes, I do. I do. Uh, well, I was inspired by Reverend Catherine Prossy. She's going to be my co-facilitator. And uh, she her love of her life and I still had my love of my life and we both lost our loves right and uh they're in they transitioned but what's so beautiful is that Catherine speaks of him like he's here with her and, and he inspires her and and she talks about him and it's just so beautiful because that inspires me to remember my love of my life my you know point uh, what 30 years you know, and it's just, it's so beautiful. And then, so the couple retreat came up. So we're here to um, help women and couples and men, you know, because men have feelings too. And I, I attest to that because I have seven sons, I mean, six sons and one daughter, you know, they're feeling the angst just like us women. And, um, and it's their time to be heard. And at this couple's retreat, I'm really, we're going to be listening to, to them and just inspiring them and, and just let them converse with one, one each other and having men's uh, facilitators to uh, have a men's group and a women's group. But it's going to be so beautiful because we're going to be having uh, massages and it's going to be a beautiful romantic week because it's during the Valentine week, the day, it'll be in the middle of the week. And we have so much beautiful things in, in store for them. We're gonna—it's—it's. Uh, it's, I just can't wait, and I'm—I'm I'm hoping that 
couples from all over the world can join us and all ages because love is is non either you can't put an age on love right you, you you're in love at 18 you're in love at 20 you're in love at 50 at 80 we're you're all welcome to come and join us and bring your partner so yeah, that's what was my inspiration. And Catherine wrote something that I'd like to read if I can really. I would love for you to share that with us since Catherine okay. could not be here with us today, but will yeah. be in the future. Yes, she will. She is just amazing. Her name is Reverend Catherine Crossy. So what she wrote and she, she gave it to me, uh, what inspired me to be involved is I learned from personal experience with my beloved husband, communication is the key in relationships. We definitely love each other, but we realized we needed help expressing our feelings and emotions in a way that didn't separate us from our love, setting an, an energetic space in the vibration of love, compassion, trust, safety, and non-judgment is crucial for the connection heart to heart. Two lives, two hearts, one love. I will be empowering our participants with the skill that allows each person to be heard and seen, releasing, allowing, accepting, and receiving. This is transformative and brings the relationship to a deeper heart connection. I look forward to witnessing our participants transform, knowing that they have a skill for life that will bring them closer each time they practice. We will conclude the retreat with an couple vow renewal so excited about this a couple That's vow renewal. very excited isn't that going to be amazing yeah, on the beach on the beach and uh it's just a commitment to heart heart soul to soul heart to heart and soul to soul in the energetic vibration of love thank you reverend Catherine frosty that's what she wrote she thank wanted you, to be reverend Catherine. <laughs> Oh, uh, she just and she she has that high vibration of the uh, re resonance of uh, just speaking and listening to her. She just has a divinely given gift of uh, of feeling her words through her heart and uh, listening to the divine. And and it's gonna be at my place. I'm excited because uh, it's like I said, she might she was my inspiration again. My husband, I just love my husband, and we're here to help couples and um. You know, and in a, in a, just to rekindle the relationship, rekindle their love, and mm -hmm. to remember, right? To remember why you fell in love in the first place. That Absolutely. Because life yeah. can kind of pull you off that track all too easily. Mm -hmm. And so getting involved with this, getting mm -hmm. to the point where you can create an environment to help couples rekindle and learn communication skills. Mm -hmm. What does that feel for you, that kind of inspiration that you actually can provide? What does that what does that inspiration do inside to Lydia? Oh my gosh. It's like I have to tell you a little story real quick. Uh I was in the hospital and I was the doctor comes in and says, Lydia, I don't think you're gonna make it. And so I've been given. Okay, a wait a minute. Breathe for a minute. You just okay. ran over that. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. People aren't necessarily going to catch what you just said. Okay, so this is my driving force. What to your question, right? This is my driving force. I was in the hospital. I had COVID, and the doctor comes in and tells me, Lydia, I don't think you're going to make it. The reason being, I refuse to be intubated, and so the doctor went ahead and called my my daughter and my son and the family, right? And I am such a believer in my angels and my universe, my maker, my creator, that I said, nope, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, and I'm ready to go home. And that's what I would tell the doctor every time he can come in. Of course, I got worse, right? But I'm here. So I was given a second chance at life. And so I am so driven to help couples right? To help couples, women, and children to have a better life. Because now, now I'm known as a truth, truth speaker, wisdom seeker. And it's like, it's just amazing how I've been able to help so many, so many people that come to me, you know, and I'm like, and, and I go, why at, why not at 30? Why not, why not at 50, you know, and the, and the 
creator said, Lydia, this is your time to shine at 60. I'm at 65 right now. But and I feel I feel with the second chance at life with this miracle, I don't have any pains. I feel amazing. I feel like I'm 30. I feel I'm so driven to do creator's work to help people all over the world, you know, to come together, you know, like in this couple's retreat, to come together in love and to remember, to remember why you fell in love. And, and just to, to just like to get that back to that feeling of, you know, when you first saw each other and that feeling, because it's feeling is still in your heart. Like yeah. you said, we get so busy with life and it just, it's going to be so beautiful because this is no distractions. This is going to be about you two coming together and, um, and also on Valentine's day. So it's, it's just, and we're going to just, it's going to be relaxation. It's not going to be a lot of, right. I, it's going to be absolutely yeah. marvelous. So yeah. I'm going to get a little personal here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with how you've become so inspired. How mm -hmm. do you see your life specifically Lydia's life changing and blossom blossoming? Oh my gosh, it's changing by the minute. I, you, you're my mentor. You're my mentor. Uh, you showed me how to breathe the breath 101. And uh, I've learned so much from you. Uh, and recently I put an application into um, Jack Canfield. And he, and I got an uh, interview. And, you know, and I'm, I'm just going for it because I've been told just go out there and take a leap of faith do what you want and do it big. I'm no longer hiding. I'm just going for it. So I received a, I got an uh, invitation. So we're going to have a second, a second um, interview, but it's basically authoring a book with Jack Campfield. And, and it's like, I mean, that's just there. And it's like, I'm going for it. And if I get picked, amazing. If I, if I don't, it's okay, because I'm going to keep on going, you know, it's okay. I'm just going to keep on going. And I'm so driven to help like I said, with my foster children, I'm just so driven to help that. And that's where the Jack Canfield one is about the foster children. It's about uh, mindset. It's about mindset. Mm -hmm. And and the, through the nonprofit, we help the children because they become the parent and they lost their childhood, right? So right. what we do, we do is we strive to put back the imagination to to let them know that there's the they're limitless they their aspirations their goals they are limitless but we have to start them at, at young age yeah to, and nurture them, nurture them and, right. and replace the old mindset mm -hmm. of what has happened in the past that comes up all these negative non-truth realisms that if we reach them at a young enough age, that can be switched in a much faster period of time. So they then can really start blossoming and not having to carry on all this baggage and wait until they're much older. And then it's a lot harder work. Yeah. Yes. And, and again, too, is because I've gone through the court system with them and you know, it's a cycle of life. If you if you don't get help for these young children now, the cycle repeats itself because it's a habit. It's a pre-programmed in their in their mindset because of what they saw their parents go through, right? And well, so it just, that's exactly true. It is a cycle, and the cycle has to be broken, yes. but well, that, not with a force type thing. Energetically speaking, it is with bringing in that loving replacement that allows that to switch so easily yes. where the other never quite happens. It's always a struggle, always, always a complication. And it doesn't have to be. I mean, the creators try to teach us it does not have to be if we go into the higher frequencies and honestly be able to reside there but we can reside there as long as we mindfully pay attention and intentionally want to hang there and do the practices that keep us there and allow us to just blossom ourselves 
yes yes and it's the high, keeping the high vibrational you know ask with high vibration receive with high vibration and it just the residents again i have to go back to Catherine, reverend Catherine frosty and and just the vows on the beach with this retreat is just going to be so magical because by that time um, there's going to be a transformation and and i wrote some stuff down if you let me talk about transformation i would really like to if I let you, if we, you let me. <laughs> we would like to share something about transformation. Yeah. We would yeah. love to hear something about transformation <laughs> that you wrote down. Well, I wrote it down. Now I can't. I, okay, well, I know I'll give you this. It says, I was given this um, by someone very special to me, and it's words from the Holy Spirit. Um, so it says, even when I'm silent, I speak to you. My compassion speaks. My kindness speaks. When you look for me, you'll always find me. You'll find me in the fine details of a simple dandelion. You'll see me in the kindness of a stranger, in the thunder of a sunset, the sweet kiss of a loved one. I am the wind. I am the sun. I'm every star in the heavens. I create it all, and I live in all. Listen as I sing to you the love song of eternity with my eye on the sparrow and my heart fixed on you. These are verses that come through the Bible and Jeremiah and Romans and John. And um, it just, I was given this uh, not too long ago and I just wanted to share it. So that's what I, that's what we're going to bring back the love and this retreat. And, um, and I know the transformation is right there because these couples are going to, are seeking seeking attention that's what they're seeking if they you know i i welcome them to the retreat but they're seeking a change and well sure well mm -hmm. sure but let's just take a breath into what you just shared with us though because that is so deep so rich so big so freeing thank you for that <laughs> thank you that was so beautiful lydia so my darling when you say that you are really at the point where you're compelled that this is just something that must be done it it's all through being so inspired like star fuel there is no there is no end to the fuel that's there that's going to keep you moving and we would love for everybody to feel like that about something in their life and they absolutely can everybody you can get to that place. And that's why we bring CSI to you twice a month. That's why we bring all these different types of fun workshops. I just did Dreamscape. So you can get a full framework in five days of how to ignite your dreams. And it's a very practical thing to do. It is not just lofty. That is part of who we need to be, igniting our spirit, letting our spirit be free. We have a gorgeous summit coming up next month um, in December, and stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I will have information that's going to be put below right after this that you will be able to read about this beautiful retreat that's going to happen the week of Valentine's Day. And Reverend Catherine did record a little something for us, and I will be placing that in there. And I'll also be placing where you can get the replays to, not just this one, but also the ones in the past, all different speakers, all different walks of life. And I will be posting up a replay week for you for Dreamscape for the 20th to the 27th. So you can catch that too. So 
you didn't completely miss out. <laughs> <laughs> but because this is the most holy of holy seasons coming up, this is where you can connect to the divine so easily in any time during the year. This is where the magic is held. Everybody hears, you know, the magic of Christmas. Well, it's a real thing, okay? It's an energetic thing, and it's real. And so <laughs> when you have beautiful dreams and wishes, you want to be able to start structuring them so you have a plan. Once you have a plan, you can start initiating what you need to do. And we would love to have you ready for 2024. So we have a lot coming for you in these next several weeks before the new year hits, even though, oh my God, look how far we are into November already. And we are going to wish you a very happy, blessed Thanksgiving. And until next time, Lydia Ramirez, you beautiful light and soul. It has always been my honor to know you, to share things with you, to have you as also the trust that you gave me to be my student. And yes, we will be doing more of this. And you will see Lydia in the summit as well that's coming up, which is called Faith, Hope, and Love. And that is the vibration that is going to be there to help nurture everyone. So, Lydia, any closing remark you'd like to say? Oh, I'd just like to thank you. And I can't wait for um, 2023, the rest of what you have in store for us is just magical. Like you said, magical is the vibration. It's what you make it and what's in you. The divine is in all of us. So I know we will bring it all out. Thank you, Farina. I appreciate you. And thank you all for listening and watching. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. And until next time, everyone, many blessings. God bless you.